what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel and uh we are back at it with the sti it is day 8513 and uh we are making some progress and uh i do have the evo sitting outside uh just because i have um i have some stuff that we're gonna we're gonna be talking about in uh some type of uh depth because uh, i know it's a very very confusing subject to talk about but uh we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about AOS's, so uh, we're gonna be doing the parent AOS today. Uh, from the last video, you guys did see that uh, I did have my front mount on, and uh, it's not all bolted down and stuff like that. Just because I do have some stuff that I need to do, especially with the AOS, and um, I can't really do those without uh, taking the front mount off because there's stuff back here that I kind of have to get to. So uh, you know, yeah. I, I kind of need to, I'm probably going to be taking some of that stuff off just to kind of get to what I need to get to. So it is what it is. But uh, I have everything that I need on the counter right here. Um, and I'm going to lay everything out and we're going to go over everything that I got. So let's go. All right, guys. So uh, I have everything that I need on the table. Uh, at the moment, we will be putting our uh, AOS back together. Uh, I finished up my AOS. It looks very pretty in uh, that nice uh, orange. So that's a, that's definitely a plus here. So like I said, everything that I need is out here. So uh, I have a couple fittings. It looks like, uh, I don't know, like half inch to three quarter adapters, which these came with the kit. Uh, half inch to half inch, uh, or quarter to quarter, maybe? I don't know. Uh, y fitting, which uh, looks decent. Uh, T fitting, these these all these things all came with the kit. Um, another Y fitting, and a bunch of fittings and stuff like that that go with the AOS itself. So the things that I bought, it is an, uh, these are A in line that I got, it's a, uh, you know, black with, uh, you know, they're rated for oil, uh, gas, stuff like that. So it's really not anything super crazy. It's the same type of, uh, you know, evil energy uh, line that I've been using forever now. Uh, I've never had any issues with it. I will link this down in the description below. And then I got a box of 15 of these uh, half inch like adapters. Uh, it's actually for PEX, but it works pretty well for uh, what, what I got going on here. And it, it's, it just goes in like this. So I'm gonna need a bunch of these 90 degrees. And as you can tell, I don't have any 90 degrees on the table here. So these 90 degree fittings uh, that I got on, on, on Amazon will work just perfectly fine. It was a box of 15 for like $10 or something stupid like that. And then the line I think was like 30 or $40. Uh, definitely a good thing to have uh, A in line because as of right now, I have six A in line, I have uh, four A in line, and I think I have a little bit of 10 A in line. Um, 10 A in line, I usually use for uh, oil return lines. Six A in line, I use for everything like uh, catch cans. I use for uh, fuel line and things like that. And then four A in line would replace all your, uh, your small like vacuum hoses and stuff like that. So I will be using a little bit of that as well. But uh, what, what I will do is um, I will be trying to set up, oh yeah, then this. And I got a brand new uh, PCV valve for the car. So uh, STIs use this weird PCV valve. Uh, so I did get that. It is definitely uh, something that you will need for your setup. If you're doing it on this year STI, uh, you can use the stock one that comes in the kit or uh, the stock one that comes in the car. But I just opted to buy a brand new one. It just, so I don't have to, no worries about this. But uh, what I will do is I will uh, set this all up so that you guys can see where everything goes and then uh, we'll go from there. Now, just keep in mind, uh, a couple things do come with the kit. Obviously all the lines do come with the kit and my, uh, I got mine secondhand, so I have no lines. So that's why I'm using a in line instead of like these this rubber hose that you would probably get with uh, your your parent kit. So let me set all this stuff up. Let me show you exactly how it goes, and uh, we will start to put this bad boy into the car. So let's go. 
All right, people, so I'm gonna do line by, well, not line by line, but I do have some of the stuff kind of done. Uh, first off, I'm gonna stick with the uh, coolant lines first. Just because the coolant lines are a little bit harder to get to, along with the, uh, the one breather hose that's underneath the uh, throttle body. So, what I have here is two 6AN lines. So, you're supposed to tap into one of the coolant lines that come off the throttle body. The instructions say to use this line here because it's easier just to get to. Um, but I want to hide all these lines. So uh, what I did was I went off the other, um, you know, the bottom port of the throttle body, which is here. And then uh, that one goes to, there's a line way down here. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, right down there. So that's part of the... Uh, the coolant passage overflow on the top of the engine. So what I did was I just tapped into two of those. And uh, what I'm good, what these hoses, they go, the ends of these hoses go to the bottom of the uh, AOS. So it's pretty much just a, a coolant like bypass. So it goes in one side, goes out to the other side and then goes to the throttle body and then the throttle body goes back into the system. So uh, that's how that's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna continue rocking on this. So, uh, so that you guys have a better understanding of where the lines are gonna come from and where they're gonna go. Obviously, you're gonna have to drain your coolant uh, to get to this, uh, you know, to do all this just because there is coolant that blows through the AOS just to make sure that there's no sludge or anything like that that builds up at the bottom. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing this. So I'm gonna continue going and uh, getting this bad boy done. And once I get the next couple lines going, then I'll actually update you with what we got going on. So, all right, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folks. So the next step, uh, really didn't get too much farther than the last video that I just posted. Uh, anyway, um, down here where the, uh, it, it's the, I don't wonder which one I'll call that. It's the um, uh, PCV spot or what whatnot. Um, it's, you know, where, where the drain goes. It's another 6AN line. I just have it like super looped over here. Uh, super duper long, but these are the three lines that you'll have right out back. Uh, you know, one uh, coolant line going in, one going out, and the drain for the uh, AOS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten up some of these lines. Well, not shorten them up. The two coolant lines I think are probably about good, but the AOS I'm just gonna mount and it's, uh, you know, where I got it here. This, these lines over here were just zip tied. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind the AOS um and hopefully i won't have to lengthen anything or do anything crazy and uh we'll just go from there so i'm gonna get that rocking i'm gonna mount these two lines and then uh the next line will be like an 8 an here and an 8 an uh for down here i don't know if you can see that yeah you can kind of see 8 an line goes there so then it goes to like a 90 degree and then i'm gonna have it snake up this way uh, zip tie all the lines together make it look nice and kind of pretty and kind of see what I can go from there So let's go Okay, people so a little bit of a change here. So I switched the uh, Direction in which I was going with the back hose like the drain So which is down here, so I had it coming out this way and around the problem is is that the laws of gravity don't work like that so uh, if you could see these lines here, they're up above where the tank sits. So there's no way that I could come with the, uh, you know, with the line come up like this and then and back around to the drain. So it wasn't really going to work. So I routed it the opposite direction. So instead of going out that way, it's now going up this way. So um, I snaked the line up underneath the inlet, inlet, uh, the turbo inlet, and then I came to the uh, to the AOS. So the line sits like this and then goes straight down and uh, down towards here. So that's gonna be that. I'm going to uh, leave leave that alone. And we're gonna be continuing to work on this bad boy because uh, I have a couple more that I need to do. Uh, the top, two ports, and then the side port. So the side port, if I'm not mistaken, goes to the, uh, you know, this this big breather down here. So I'm gonna run that line the same direction as this because it's all air. And uh, then I could run my two, these two ports here. They go to the left and right bank of the engine. So uh, 
yeah, we're gonna see what we can do as far as routing and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna route this bad boy up, see what we kind of have and then we'll, we'll go from there. So I'll show you what I got when I get done. All right, let's go. So um, I want to give you a quick update here. So uh, I've come to a point where like, I feel like most people, including myself, get very confused when doing an AOS. So I'm going to work off the parent kit that I have and I'll show you exactly what I did so far uh, if you haven't really been uh, paying attention. So uh, I did both sides over here in uh, rubber uh, just to come up and then uh, A in line right to the uh, AOS. Uh, this side here goes all the way to the other side. It's the same exact thing. Uh, a rubber piece up, a 90 degree, and then uh, plastic, and then going all the way to the uh, AOS here. The, the, that's these two lines. The, uh, the one line that uh, kind of confused the crap out of me, uh, well, it, I mean, it, it does and it doesn't, but uh, but here it is right here. So it's the line that comes off the intake manifold. So if your intake manifold has a PCV valve, you need to pull it off and you need to, uh, you need to pull it off and go uh, it, use this like, I don't know what the, this, this aluminum piece that they give you and uh, go right to your intake manifold with that. So I have that done. Uh, I had a, a different piece up there before, but like I, I saw the error in my ways and I corrected it. So the PCV valve needs to be uh, in this direction. So the smaller end goes to the intake manifold. Then you put the bigger end on the other side and then it tees off or Y's off and then goes to this line, which comes to the intake or, or yeah, the intake inlet, it, it's all the same stuff. And then uh, it tees off and then it comes right to here. So uh, to the top of the AOS. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about because it confused the crap out of me. But uh, let me get this done and I'll show you exactly what, what I mean uh, when it's all done, all right? All right, people, okay. All right, so what I will do is I will show you exactly what I did here. So a continuation off of the last time you did see me uh, a second ago. Um, so uh, I got this line here and that line all, all the way over there, uh, going to this side. And uh, I have the, what do you wanna call that? This is the breather from the block going to the side port of the parent AOS. Uh, the, what do you wanna call it? The coolant lines coming from this one side over here of the, 
intake manifold or uh, the, the coolant passage to the throttle body going to the bottom of the uh, AOS. I have the, uh, the drain here. It's snaked underneath the turbo and then goes to the one side. So that's all fine. So the one part that always confused everybody and, and including me, like I said before, was this piece here. So, uh, all right. So I have a PCV valve, which is here connected to a, uh, a, an adapter that comes in the kit. So you, you hook those together. Now, uh, the PCV valve on the uh, intake manifold itself comes off and then you use this here. Uh, mine didn't have a PCV valve. It had a straight through, uh, you know, like port or whatever. So uh, I just ran a line from that port to the PCV valve and then the PCV valve gets a, a Y and the Y goes to, uh, you know, it goes to the one side of this Y. The other side of the Y comes from the Perrin uh, inlet. So now you have two spots that uh, vacuum come. So this spot here, and then the intake manifold itself. Now those go into the Y, and then the Y goes to the top port of your AOS, well, your parent AOS. And uh, that's how you run your kit. Um, I know it was uh, a little bit long-winded. I was on and off camera. I didn't really show exactly what I was doing while I was doing it, but uh, the kit is finished now. It is a really, really good kit. So I will link in the description below on everything that I did use because uh, I did use all of that uh, 8 8 a.m. line that I had. I think I think it was 8 a.m. I have to I have to check. I'm pretty sure it was 8 a.m. line that I all used. Uh, I think I, I put. 10 feet of it and I use everything except for, no, actually I used up all of the uh, the 10 feet of that 8AN uh, line. So uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're uh, actually doing what you need to do. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, intake manifold or the, uh, the intercooler pipes back on and uh, run that stuff and make sure everything is solid there. And then I can kind of move on to my next steps, which is uh, I got, I got on the way a boost controller, so I'm gonna get that done, and uh, yeah, then we might be able to actually first start this bad boy. So maybe in another video or two, like I can probably uh, get this bad boy started. So uh, yeah, I don't know. If you like this video, hopefully, hopefully, I explained it pretty well. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to, you know, make a diagram maybe on uh, on you know the way I did it or. Uh, or whatnot and so hopefully you guys aren't that confused but i know this is a confusing like kit like all the aos's are super super confusing uh especially like whenever you have a uh, pcv valve and you know involved in this whole mess but uh yeah so I i'm gonna try to make a diagram if i don't make a diagram i'm so sorry uh but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try for you guys but uh yeah that's gonna be uh the end of this video i'm gonna wrap up get the intercooler pipes back on and uh, just chill out and relax. Like I've been at this for at least a couple hours here trying to get uh, everything done the right way. You know what I mean? But uh, it's finally done, the AOS is in, so uh, I can breathe a sigh of relief that that is finally finished. So um, yeah, <sighs> if you like this video, I uh, upload every three days, uh, you know, maybe think about subscribing, give me a thumbs up, that really helps. Uh, it, re it really does help. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next one, all right? Deuces.